right, everybody, so we have Scrawl open, and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of everything um, that's general about the program. And it's basically a MIDI-controlled painting program, and I'm going to give you the basic features of it on this one. And in the next one, I'll probably go into deeper what the actual um, program has to offer um, in addition to the things that I'm about to tell you about. So um, originally this was started as something that I could potentially use for my theater. I run a community theater where I live and I was thinking that it would be nice to have an intelligent light that uh, we're able to control um, without having uh, paying thousands of dollars for an intelligent light and just being able to plug in a projector and use it as a light source. So um, the way that we do that, um, as you can see, I just clicked off the actual painting ability. And so I can use this as like a spotlight source um, for my theater and, and change sizes and everything like that. But I'll get into all of those things in, in just a second. So the number one thing is the difference between the painting and kind of almost spotlight feature with uh, the program. So as you can see right now, it's not drawing, it's or painting on the page, it's just showing you that cursor almost. Um, so you can turn that off and then you would obviously just see your mouse cursor. Um, with it on, it's showing that. And uh, you can also change the settings to where it will automatically draw or paint on the page. <clears throat> In order to clear that, right now it's just a right click uh, on the page to, uh, to clear what you have. Or changing out of the settings to turn on that spotlight feature. So, um, there are also several other things that you can do within the program. You can change the uh, RGB settings, so changing color. Oh, sorry, that was the opacity um, setting that I had just messed with. So, uh, you can play in all of the areas of RGB. If it's obviously fully on, you've got white. If it's fully off, you've got black. And the only way to see that then would be to change your background color, which I'll get into later. So that's all your change, uh, color changing. You also have the ability to change opacity or um, alpha or intensity, however you want to say it. So as you can see, slowly adjusting that, you would see the change there. And obviously you're going to get a lot more color range um, with everything when you mess with the RGB with the alpha or opacity or intensity of that. Another big thing that you can do, um, I'll go back to white and fully up on that alpha, is changing your brush size. You have that ability as well. You can go down to pretty, pretty small, um, almost as if it's like one pixel floating around, or you can pretty much cover your whole screen with the, that size change. We also have the ability to change shapes of your brush. And so with that shape change, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see. We have a, a rectangle, a triangle. This is a random feature. It's random lines. <coughs> Starburst. And what we're going to call the advanced triangle, which um, on our next video we'll show you what all you can do with that as well. So we'll just go back to that circle. Uh, the other thing too that I would only recommend doing once you're more comfortable with the program is being able to turn off your mouse cursor. Um, you have that ability as well to completely remove that from the screen so that you just are seeing whatever brush you have selected so that you can 
just be looking at that instead of seeing that mouse kind of floating around there. Uh, we, you also have the ability to fill or no fill. So um, you can turn that on to where you are just seeing the outline of that piece. Obviously in the rectangle you get that, the triangle you get that. With the randomization and the star bus, bur, starburst, since those are just lines, you're not going to see any difference there. But um, you can do some really cool things with just the outline. Obviously, again, you can play with your RGB and get different color colors on that outline there. And the other cool thing about this is that you are also able to change your background color. So you can slide up on those and just make some cool background images. And then obviously with your actual brush, you can change that to fully black then. Obviously if all are down, it would be invisible, but you've got different color ranges. You can play with that and draw to paint and fill in however you'd like. So these are the basic features right now and we'll come back with uh, some more tutorials on how to do all of the other features involved. And if you have any questions, just let us know.